probably all started in high school. I did choose those sciencey subjects, so the chemistry, physics, and mathematics. I was also pretty creative, so a little bit of an outlier there was visual arts. In year 12, I wasn't looking for a standard nine to five job where I'd be doing the same thing every day. I wanted something that was gonna challenge me mentally and physically. Um, so I chose to, to join the army as a general service officer and uh, I started my career at the Australian Defence Force Academy. I actually got posted back uh, to study mechanical engineering. It was a great opportunity uh, for me uh, because it built on that science passion I had as a high school student and through uh, engineering, uh, but also allowed me to put those skills into practice and start solving some real world problems for people. The best advice I can give students uh, who are going through high school, study the sciences. They're going to open up the most opportunities for you when you graduate from high school. For ADFA, if you wanted to study an engineering degree, or really any of the degrees at ADFA, um, your key competencies in physics and uh, mathematics are going to be the most important for you. Defence University sponsorship is another way that we can recruit some of those bespoke engineering degrees we can't teach at ADFA, so we'll go and look for undergraduates who are studying at university but want that exciting role uh, within the Australian Defence Force as well. Similar to ADFA, you're sponsored through university, we cover your tuition fees. Most importantly, you've got a guaranteed job when you graduate. Engineers Australia reports about 10 to 15 percent of graduate engineers are females and we definitely want to get more females into engineering. If you have that passion for solving problems, working with people, definitely look at it as a career pathway. We do have a lot of opportunities for, for the trades as well, so doing that hands-on maintenance work. Actually making our vision come uh, to fruition because I can't run away, I can't weld. Um, we need skilled tradesmen to do that. Um, but again, those fundamental inputs are still going to be the sciences and putting them into practice as well. So um, we're one of the few organisations that will take someone who is unskilled with a year 10 or year 12 education and provide that level of training so they can become a competent uh, and efficient tradesman for us and really do that hands-on work, uh, whereas the engineers are going to be doing more of that design and management in the background. So there are a lot of opportunities for people who are coming in via the general entry pathway to pick up a really good skill set that will not only set them up for success in the military, but also give them options for when they do choose to leave uh, the Defence Force. One of the, the new initiatives we have is the uh, Defence Technical Scholarship. It's been around for probably over 12 months now, and it's a way to encourage people to look at those more technical careers, whether it's in the trade, it's in the engineering, or even some of the healthcare roles. It's generally activated if you do come through the recruiting process, you are applying for those technical roles that uh, do focus on the science and engineering. Um, and if you do are uh, successful at your EU session, um, that's where your application for the uh, Defence Technical Scholarship starts.